Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Um, I know the rest of the country, you guys are enjoying fun and sun. While us in Minnesota, we're dealing with the damn snow, okay? What in the world of global warming is going on here? It should be springtime. I should be walking around in a tank top and some booty shorts. But instead, I have on a damn sweat outfit, okay? <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. It's been a long 24 hours, honey. When I tell you Nipsey Hussle's funeral straight up drained me. And thank you to everybody on Instagram. You know, it was just so much love and support. You know, I was posting a lot of stuff, video clips, pictures, things people were sending me and tagging me in. So I'm glad I was able to keep you guys informed and up to date step by step via Instagram and on uh, Twitter with everything that was going on with the funeral. I really enjoyed it. I thought they did a wonderful job putting it together. It was so many celebrities that came out. People even spotted Beyonce and Jay-Z in the crowd. So they did come to pay their respects. Um, and they were just low key. They weren't trying to be seen. They weren't trying to make it about them. So I respected that. But it was so many people. I mean, every seat in the Staples Center was full. Um, Snoop Dogg was there. He said a lot of really touching things. His brother, you know, let us know about Nipsey trying to build a computer when he was 12. I mean, you really felt like you got to know more about Nipsey Hussle via the words of his brother, his little sister, um, his mom and dad when they both spoke about it. It was just like an amazing show of love. Even President Barack Obama sent a letter. And shout out to Karen Civil. She's been out here doing her thing for years. And if you guys don't know, she's Nipsey Hussle's business partner. So they have been really close, really cool. And they have been working on a lot of ventures together. There. And so she was able to hold it together enough to be able to read Obama's letter. And I thought it was just so touching. Y'all go ahead and check this out. From the 44th president of the United States, Barack Obama. <laughs> sent in regarding the life and celebration of Nipsey Hussle. Written today, this morning, at April 11th, 2019, the friends and family of Nipsey Hussle. I've never met Nipsey, but I've heard his music through my daughters. And after his passing, I had the chance to learn more about his transformation and his community work. While most folks look at the Crenshaw neighborhood where he grew up and only see gangs, bullets, and despair, Nipsey saw potential. He saw hope. He saw a community that even through its flaws taught him to always keep going. All right, so you guys just saw that snippet. So um, the thing that got a lot of people, and I myself was shocked, I did not expect Lauren London to get up there and speak. And then on top of that, her son with Lil Wayne, Cameron Carter, um, he also got up there and he spoke about, you know, his conversations with Nipsey and how Nipsey taught him about, you know, how heaven is paradise. It was just really sweet. And I think the part that like really tugged at my heart is that their child together, um, their little baby cross, it's like he kind of knew something was going on and he grabbed the microphone and it's like he had to say something. He wanted to let the world know, you know, whatever he was trying to say in his little two year old mind about his father. And I thought that whole exchange was so sweet y'all go ahead and check this out and also check out what lauren london had to say as well on the night of april 2nd i had a dream i was in a paradise and <laughs> i was in paradise and i was playing in the ocean water when air when air me is popped up right behind me he said, what up, killer? Because that's my nickname to him. I turned around and I yelled his name and I gave him a hug. Shortly, he was gone, but it was still cool, I guess. So when I told my mom about the dream. And after I told her, I was thinking about it. And I realized that Aramis told me what heaven was like. He told me it was paradise. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. 
Daddy? Uh, 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 Give the kids some love, they're a little nervous. Very rare to us, and we lost it. All right, so you guys just saw those snippets, and you know, I'm really proud of Lauren. She definitely held it down. You know, she looked regal, she looked graceful, and you know, she kept it real. She was just herself. She wasn't putting on a persona, and at the end, when she was like, and the marathon still continues, and she threw her fist up, I was like, yes, Lauren, tell them. So then after the funeral um, was played on television, she took to social media to let the world know that she will forever be holding down Nipsey Hussle, that she will forever be holding down Nipsey Hussle. She went and got a huge Nipsey Hussle tattoo on her forearm. And this is what she writes. She says, real love never dies. When you see me, you will always see him. Hashtag love you hustle. Hashtag TMC. And then on the tattoo, it says God will rise, which is what Hermes stood for. That's the meaning of his name. So I just thought it was just a beautiful show. I mean, the people in South Central LA really came together. Like, you know, I know that community. I've spent time in that community. One of my bestest friends, he lives in South Central. And um, just to see people come together, there was no drama, no fighting. It's like they really went hard. It didn't matter if you were a celebrity, a regular person, Louis Farrakhan. It's like... A whole piece was bought to that community. Just to watch even the gangs unifying together. The unifications of, you know, several of the Crip sets, you know, they came together. The Bloods came together. And just to see people go so hard for one man. I've never seen nothing like this. You know, this is honestly, I really feel like this is how Tupac's death should have been treated. This is like what I expected to see when I was a teenager when Tupac died. I thought they was going to do like a huge thing in L.A. And, you know, this huge, you know... I don't know, whatever. I thought it was going to be something big. And instead, it's like we felt cheated. You know, we didn't know anything. They just quietly, you know, had a funeral for his family. They burnt him, smoked him up in some blunts and, you know, spread the rest of the ashes. And that was it. You know, so I think this going away, this home going for Nipsey Hussle was just, it was amazing. It was amazing to watch this from start to finish. And, um... He, I think he's inspired a lot of people, including myself, to continue the marathon, you know, to, to show people that you too can do it. You can be an entrepreneur. You can give back. You can create jobs. You can create businesses. He was able to do this. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't out here tricking off his money and, you know, Gucci down and Fendi down. He was out here really reinvesting his money, and he's inspired me. He's inspired so many people. So thank you, Nipsey Hussle, for everything you've done for not only hip-hop, but just in the community by your actions. You know what I'm saying? Some sometimes actions are a lot stronger than words. You know, like I always tell y'all, people can say anything. People can run their mouth, rant and rave, scream and yell and all that bullshit, but the key is action. Okay, anybody can say things out their mouth, but what are they actually doing to better themselves and better their community and to better other people? So those are the things you have to look for in people when you look for people to possibly look up to or want to emulate. Look for folks who are actually doing something productive. Look for folks who are actually doing something positive. Look for folks who are actually making moves, not just running their mouth. And that's one thing I really respect about Nipsey Hussle. He wasn't just running his mouth. He wasn't just rapping and trying to throw bits of medicine in the food, like they say. Um, he was actually living what he was rapping he was actually opening up businesses he was actually giving other black people jobs so like I said he has super duper inspired me the funeral was very draining you know after I got done posting I just eventually just went to sleep and took a nice long nap but um but I'm glad that even today, the day after the funeral, the spirit of unity is still around. There's still a lot of positivity. A lot of people are still speaking his name. Um, you know, just much respect to him, his family, to everybody who got up there and spoke, his best friend from childhood. You know, her stories of him and her were just really, really sweet. So, And also, I'm also finding out today, people who are given his program for free, and the program is thick. It's like a book, literally. And instead of some people cherishing this, they're now putting them on eBay. You still have a segment of the population who's not about shit. You know what I'm saying? And now they flooded eBay hours after the service. Um, there's some right now as high as $1,500 for that program. And I'm sure some fans will want to buy it, you know, but... 
at the end of the day, it's sad that some people just can't take the program and just be happy to have it, you know, but that that's human nature. You have people who will take advantage, just like you have people selling his tickets, you know, but at the end of the day, that does not matter. What matters is his legacy, what he stood for, and the impact that he made amongst his community and his people, not only the African-American community, but also the African community as well. Um, you know, he gave a lot of Eritreans a role model to look at. Um, he did a lot of stuff for the Eritrean community. So I know my friends who are Eritrean, they are definitely hurting behind this as well. So once again, rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. You know, um, Lauren London, once again, she did an awesome job just holding herself together, carrying herself well, you know, having the babies up there. So I definitely enjoyed it. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Nipsey Hussle's funeral. What was your favorite part? Did you get a chance to watch the whole thing? Did you enjoy it? And then how do you guys feel about, you know, just all the unity and people coming together and all the positive stuff that's come out of his death? Even though we do have some people taking advantage and selling, you know, his uh, program on eBay and we're trying to sell his ticket kids that's a small section of the population compared to all the love that he did get and receive so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Stay strong, bro. Don't bitch you, are you hard? 
album cover. Straight up book. Not even no obituary. Look at this shit. Straight book. Bro got a book. That's crazy. Electromagnetic ray field. He had an aura around him that if you sat with him, it gave you power and energy, it like filled up your spiritual tank. So that when I left and went to work and whatever, I was in the world for the next week, he had left something with me. And so I'm sad. I was sad that I wouldn't have that anymore. And then I thought about my son knows the secret to the mystery of life. And, uh, I mean, we all know the music. Um, if I die today, I know the set proud, nigga. Nip mentality was stronger than a rapper that's been in the game for 15 years. And I'll give you an example of that. One of the first conversations me and Nipsey had, he was talking to me about, hey, cuz, you need to do a, a amusement park, cuz, doggy land, cuz. <laughs> I'm like, for real? He's like, yeah, cuz, with 40 ounce uh, roller coasters and, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you Snoop Dogg, cuz, everybody come see you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, come check your amusement park. I'm like, cuz, you tripping. So he kept, like, every time I would see him, he would always bring it up, he would bring it up. So like the fifth time he said it to me, or was it the sixth time? Yeah, the sixth time he said it to me. Let me get politically correct. My last words will be, for God so loved the world that he gave us a good crip. The late, great neighborhood nip. Rest in peace, girl. Neighbors. We unified out here, baby.
my conclusion. So life is what you make it. I hope you make a movement. Hope your opportunity survives the opportunist. Hoping hey, hey, as you walk across the sand, you see my shoe print and you follow till it change your life, cause it's all evolution. And I hope you find your passion, cause I found mine in this music. But I hope it's not material, cause that's all an illusion. And they all in collusion. This racist institutions, double standard, acting like they not the reason why we roof is what's the night is my night.